Now, that's not a word we hear very often these days. The ancient sport is all about knights, thoroughbreds and damsels in distress. And it might just be making a comeback. We sent Des Dowling along to get the gist on jousting. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a knight and his beautiful fair maiden. Well, actually, it's not a land far away. It's Lithgow, west of Sydney. By day, Rod Walker's a coal miner. But, in his spare time, he's a medieval knight, jousting his way to glory. With the Formula One of their time, so they would, they would spend huge amounts of money on it. <laughs> As for his fair maiden wife, that's Michelle. She's one of only two female jousters in Australia and gave the boys a real belting at the last national titles. I beat him this year in the Australasian Championships. Right. Uh, How did you take a... that? Fine. She did a hell of a job. She beat not only me, she beat all the men. One woman against nine men. Now, jousting's not a hard sport to understand. You find a nice, strong, cool, under-pressure sort of horse, then charge towards your opponent and try and knock him off his horse with a ruddy great lance. Is it dangerous? Oh, you bet. It's believed the decline of jousting began in the 1550s after the King of France, Henry II, had a shattered piece of lance enter through the eye slot of his helmet, pierce him in the eye and go into his brain. It took the poor man two weeks to die. It can be dangerous, but it, you wear a lot of armour. So your armour wasn't enough one time, was it, Rod? No, it, it was the one spot the armour didn't cover and I took a lance low. How low, Rod? Family jewels low. And I know you shouldn't laugh, but you just had your reaction, but what was the result? 42 stitches. In your groin? In my groin. For anyone worried about the horse's safety, don't be. It would seem jousting's really only dangerous for the human participants. Rod and Michelle's faithful steeds, Dancer and Trent, have never been injured. In case you hadn't noticed, Rod and Michelle take their jousting very seriously. And why wouldn't they? It's allowed them to travel the world to compete at tournaments. Authenticity is paramount. Rod's latest suit of armour cost $11,000, weighs around 38 kilograms and takes a very, very long time to put on. No ye olde velcro? No. <laughs> it's all buttons and laces. But remember they had servants. The servants were knights themselves. Yeah. It was an honour to serve a high-ranking person so you wouldn't be dressed by some lowly peasant. You were being dressed by another gentleman. There we go, stop. That's it. Finally, the last piece of protection, small wooden shields. Is that your motto? That's our motto, yes. And that means... Um, love conquers love all. Love conquers all. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Just while they try to knock each other's head off with a <laughs> mighty wooden lance at about 40 mile an hour. Special foam tips on the lances provide a spectacular shattering upon contact, but also minimise the chance of injury. In front of a small, enthusiastic crowd, today's tournament ends in an honourable draw, leaving Rod and Michelle to fight another day. Although the same can't be said for a wandering entertainer who failed to impress the ladies. Ooh, Des, men in tights. Very nice. But here's something far more sedate to satisfy your competitive streak.